welcome to the theory of computation session now we'll see a, a problem of converting regular expression to a minimized dfa so uh, the problem here is design an nfa with epsilon for regular expression equal to a or b the whole function into a b and convert it into a dfa and further find the minimized dfa dfa for this uh, we will have the uh, conversion from regular expression to NFA with epsilon. So this is done by using uh, Thomson construction method. So we will uh, draw NFA epsilon by using a Thomson construction method. So the Thomson control here A or B. So which means A plus B the whole closure. So for this we will have this scenario A and we will have B. So this is going to be epsilon over here. So the whole closure in the sense will have this. So this is the backward direction and this will be your have front forward direction. You will have epsilon, epsilon over here and epsilon. Right after that we will have AB. So this is for A and this is for B. So now we name the states Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, Q7, Q8 and Q9. Okay, so this is the way you have to draw a regular expression to an NFA with epsilon. After that we will have the steps. So for this we will have the step E closure of Q0. So we find an E closure of Q0. So the E closure of Q0 is fine by seeing uh, what are all the states uh, from the state Q0 and uh, what are all the states on seeing epsilon, uh, the states which are going to the particular uh, states, right? So e, e closure of Q0 we have Q0, Q1, Q2, Q4, and we'll have uh, Q7. So this is stated as A, right? After that we have E closure of del of A comma A comma A. So here E closure of del of Q naught, Q one, Q two, Q four, and Q seven on A. So for this, so Q two and having this uh, A transition Q two to Q three and Q seven to Q eight. So we'll have this. E closure of Q3 comma Q8, right? So we will find this. Uh, we find this E closure of Q3 union E closure of Q8. So what is E closure of uh, Q3? So Q3 six one two four, uh, and we'll have. Uh, Q7 also, right? So for this Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q6, Q7, along with that E closure of Q8, so there is no E closure, so the self state, so which is known as Q8. So see here Q3, E closure of Q3, Q3, Q6, and Q7, and also we'll have uh, 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 4 and we'll have uh, Q3, 6 and 7. So one more thing you will have this E closure of Q8. So now the states are Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q6, Q7 and Q8 which is a new state something different from this previous one which is stated as B. After that we will have E closure of del of A comma B. So here E closure of so Q0, Q1, Q2, Q4 and Q7 which is B over here. So E closure of so for B the transition 5 only 5 is having this transition. So E closure of Q5. So what is E closure of Q5? So Q5, Q6, Q7 and we will have 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 4. Now 
we can re rewrite as q1 q2 q4 q5 q6 and q7 which is over here c okay right all right so next one so next we will have this b state e closure of del of b comma a so here e closure what is b over here e closure del of q1 q2 q3 q4 q6 q7 q8 on a right so uh, see this here on a we'll have q3 uh, and one more q7 to q8 so q3 and q8 so e closure of q3 comma q8 which is already we'll got this which is, which is known as q3 and q8 which is state b so already we find the same state after that we'll have e closure of E closure of del of b comma b which is known as e closure of q1 q2 q3 q4 q6 q7 q8 on b right for this uh, b transition will have so q4 to q5 and we have uh, Q9, right? So e closure of Q5 and Q9 on B. So what is the e closure of Q5 and Q5 Q9? So this is uh, something like the e closure of Q5 union e closure of Q9. So e closure of Q5. What is e closure of Q5? already we have find out right so q1 q1 q2 q4 1 1 2 4 5 6 7 1 2 4 5 6 7 and one more state now e closure of q9 so what is e closure of q9 here so e closure of q9 is the self state only q9 so this which is a uh, new state which is we termed as D. Okay. So now we will see this. E closure of del of C comma A. So E closure of del of Q1. Q2, Q4, Q5, Q6, Q7 on A. So here so on A so 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 right or C. So here what is the thing here? So 2 to 3 and 7 to 8. So 2 to 3. So E closure of Q3 and Q8. So already we have uh, found the state like this. Q3 and Q8 which is already we have found it which is known as uh, B. B. So E closure of del of C comma B. So E closure of del of q1 q2 q4 q5 q6 q7 and b right so for this again we will get this e closure of so for b q4 to 5 and a to 9 so only 5 so q5 is there so already we have find found out uh, e closure of q5 which is known as the state called c so the state is C over here. Okay. After that, we have a e closure of del of d comma a, which is e closure of q1, q2. So this is del right d q2, q4, q5, q6, q7, and q9. 
only. So for this we will have e closure of del log. So for a we will have 2 to 3 and 7 to 8. So q3 and q8 which is already we take the state as b and again e closure of del of d comma b so for d comma b e closure of del of q1 q2 q4 q5 q6 q7 and q9 which is on b e closure of on b c plus on b 4 to 5 8 to 9 so only 5 is there so e closure of 5 already we have found up which is c so take this uh, result from there so now we will have this repeated states only there is no new exist, uh, states existing so we will draw a transition we will have the transition table so transition table so these are c and d so transition table so here states on a on b and we'll have so there we'll have a final state q9 now we'll see the final state over here right okay so a we'll have b c and d so what is a on a so a on a is b a on b a on b c ok b on a b on a b so b on a b and b on b it's d and c on a it's b c on c it's d c and d on a it's b and we'll have uh, it is c so here uh, the final state over here is so q9 is the final state here so the state which contains the final state is uh, final state over here here d contains the final state so d is the final state so now d is the final state okay <coughs> Now uh, we will have three uh, or the same uh, scenario. So A, C, D. So all are going A, B transition on the same state. So just we will eliminate these states and we re rewrite the transition table like this. Rewrite the transition table. Something like this. So so here a is equivalent to b and uh, b is equivalent to c so a is uh, equal to b and uh, also c so we will rewrite the states a and b so a so wherever c is occurred we will replace by a and we will have b and b and d so again we will eliminate this state so only so the starting state is also here and the final state is also this one why because so a is equal to d so that's why it is also now the dfa minimized dfa transition diagram is over here so a so this is a start state and this is a final state and you are having b a on a will have b a on b will have a b on a will have b and b on b so this is known as a right okay. why because a uh, a c and d are equalized so that's why we can rewrite as it as d as a right okay fine So on B, B on B, it is A. 
so this is my minimized DFK. Initially, I am having uh, Q not to Q9 set states, but now I'll have only one, only two states, which is known as A and B. This is my minimized DFA. See this? So this is the way you have to minimize from regular expression to minimized DFA. So thank you, thank you for the session. We'll see you in the next session.